hi guys welcome to my channel teaching peak so today in this video i am going to share information about view scan view scan does two different things it scans an image and then it processes the raw data from the scanner to produce a color corrected image these two things are done in step and it's useful to understand each of the steps when scanning and processing the preview button and scan button perform both the scanning and processing step to save the save button start from the raw ccd data in memory and only perform the processing step scanning scanning an image involves uh, optionally focusing the scanner setting up the exposure time for the ccd area to be scanned number of bits per sample number of sample per pixel scan resolution and then reading the raw ccd data into view scan memory buffer if single pass multi scanning is enabled each line of data from the ccd is read multiple times and combined while being stored in the memory buffer if multi pass multi scanning is enabled the whole scan area is the whole scan area is read multiple time and combine average in the memory buffer there is no scaling or color correction of the raw ccd data in scaling step some scanner either always or sometime convert 10 bit or 12 bit ccd data to 8 bit before transferring it to view scan and then we scan convert it back to 10 bit or 12 bit ccd data this is done using the same gamma correction table specified by the srgb standard when the input source option is set to file the raw ccd data is read from a tiff or jpeg file and stored in the memory buffer just as it had been read directly <coughs> from the scanner <coughs> when the preview image is scanned the exposure time is fixed at 1.0 the area to be scanned is the full preview area and a scan resolution is set to be valued that produce approximately 1 million pixel when the full scan is done the exposure time is either computed from the preview from the manual setting and the area to be scanned is subset of the preview area if the scan resolution is auto a scan resolution is chosen that produce approximately 4 million pixel when the preview is scan is performed the raw data is put into a memory buffer if the output raw file option is enabled and output raw output with the set to be preview or scan, the raw data is written to the TIFF file at the same time as it's put to the memory buffer. Processing The processing steps are performed for both the preview and the full scan. The first step uses the inferior data for a first attempt as a dust removal. If enabled, this reads the whole image from the memory buffer characterize the relationship between the color channel and infrared channel then it reads each line once connecting it for dust spots and passing each line to the subsequent steps for further processing the next step is applying the cleaning filter this filter remove dust spots by using the infrared data to identify and remove dust spots and then filling in the spots with image data adjustment to the touch dust spots this filter also reduces the appearance or filling grain using the sigma filter if saving files the output raw file option is enabled and output raw option with raw, raw output when is set to save the data is that stored and written to the tiff file this raw data can subsequently be reprocessed by setting the input source option to file note that the data from the inferior channel if present is saved as part of the raw file next to the restore color and restore fading filter are applied this reads the whole image once to detect the original color of the image and then reads each line once to correct for color shift and dye fading the next step is performing corrections for film and media this reads the whole image once to compute intensity of the film base and then reads each line Correct it based on the film characteristic and passes each line to the subsequent steps for further processing. At this point, sharpening with the with an unsharp mask is performed if the filter sharpen option is enabled. 